is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and today I am with my buddy Austin Salgado from Ball and Chain Constrictors on um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. He does have a YouTube channel. He kind of sucked at posting for a little while, yeah. but he's been doing better, so go subscribe to him for me, please. He let me come out today and uh, film his collection, mess with some reptiles. We just fed his, uh, his black and white tegu right here. Not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna put the footage in. Uh, the tegu only eats live, so... I don't know if you guys have ever seen a, um, a black and white or any monitor or tegu or anything eat live, but it's it's pretty gnarly. Maybe I'll throw a clip of it in after uh, this little intro, but I think we're just gonna go through, you're gonna show me everything you have. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your uh, current video, but I just had to say a couple things. One, you're probably kind of confused how I'm back in San Diego and all that stuff. Well, the truth is this video is actually like almost six months old, I guess. And the reason behind that is I filmed this whole video with Austin from Ball and Chain Constrictors and I put it on my hard drive. Then like when I went to go edit it, you know, a few days later or whatever, I couldn't find the footage. I thought that I deleted it. It wasn't until just a couple days ago, I was looking through my hard drive in a folder that I wasn't sure what it was. And I found this whole entire vlog recorded and I was like, oh my God, finally. I understand it's kind of like, it's a little bit weird that I know it's super old. On a cool note, Austin from Ball and Chain is actually doing a giveaway right now. It just so happened to work out that right when I found this video is when he was doing the giveaway. So if you go check out his channel, you'll actually have the opportunity to win two ball pythons. I believe it's a breeding pair and it's not like crazy rules. I'm pretty sure you just have to like subscribe to him and follow him and like like and comment on the video or something like that like it's not crazy you got to share it with five people and tag 20 super easy rules and austin's a good guy and a good friend so i'll make sure he uh he holds up his end of the deal the links to that will be down in the description as for right now i know i haven't posted a lot i'm sorry work has just been crazy the past few weeks but we're about to go into the holiday time period so i will be posting way more doing some christmas stuff doing some reptile stuff uh, but now getting into the meat there is about to be a live feeding of a tegu or tegu Yes, I am going to include the video for a couple reasons, uh, and then I'll tell you how long to skip. So one, nature is nature, right? The title of this video is something gonna be something similar to that. In the wild, this animal would eat a live rodent. Um, in captivity, do I prefer frozen thought if animals will take it? Yes. However, some animals will not take frozen thought. Now, there's some people that say, hey, you know, I'm never gonna show that. Brian Barczyk, one of them. Um, Everyone knows that he has to feed live to some stuff, but he won't show it. Perfectly cool. At the same time, I think it's kind of like raw or something like that to see a predator doing what it would do to prey in real life. I think it's kind of cool. Hate on me all you want. So if you do not want to see that, right after you see this, there's going to be a short little pause with a little warning thingy. Just skip after that. But I hope you guys are looking forward to upcoming Christmas videos and stuff like that. Let's get back to the video with Austin. Thank you all. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. You guys are the best. Peace. Jesus Christ. It's crazy how fast. There was like no hesitation there either. Nope. You gonna eat it or what? Or are you shy? All right, so we're gonna start off with this little guy right here. Garden phase Amazon tree boa. He's super tiny. I'm surprised he hasn't bit me yet. I've got the, uh, the magic touch. He's like super coiled up. I was gonna try to get him out, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Super cute little guy. Usually these dudes are pretty mean, and I really did think he was gonna bite me as soon as I put my hand in there, but I guess not. So let's move on to something a little bit bigger. Uh, this is his like reptile room as well as rat room. Um, this is your first season producing, right? Yep. So first season producing, you've gotten one clutch so far, and any hatches? Right here. These are all my hatchlings so far. So what is this one? This is a possible Enchi. Oh, pretty. So he does ball pythons. You guys know I think ball pythons are kind of gay, but it fits his personality great. He's also in the Navy, uh, like me. This is, I'm gonna guess. All right. This is a um, pastel. Nope, nope, nope. It's, uh, it's not a normal, the pattern's weird. It's a 
Fire. Okay. Mm, an inchy. Fire inchy. Yeah. What? Am I really right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was a uh, complete guy. Literally, like, he just showed me, we went through all of his breeder ball pythons that are right there, and I had no idea. I was like, oh, that's a, a pastel Bahuja, what's it? No, it wasn't. I was completely wrong. So what was this pairing? It was pastel, fire to pastel? No, because that would be super no pastel. pastel. at all. Oh, no. Enchi, fire. Uh, Enchi, fire to... Enchi, fire to black pastel pet albino. Enchi, fire to black pastel pet albino. So nothing would be albino, and you would have 25%. Possible head for albino, right? 50%. 50%? Now, that was close. Uh, and then I already forgot what he said. Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I really, it's, there's too much stuff going on. Like, I try to follow it all, and then I see Miguel buys, like, the Zawadi, which I'm pretty sure he just made up. Yeah, again, ball and chain constrictors, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Pick one or all three. Uh, go show him some love. Tell him that I told you guys to do it. So then maybe he'll invite me back. He might be moving to Florida, too. Um, so I'll be in New Orleans, in Louisiana. He'll be in Florida, so we'll probably see him in a year or so. When do you get out of the Navy? Uh, November. November. Also, if you guys think you hear rattlesnakes, there's no rattlesnakes. There's cicadas uh, that live, like, everywhere in my backyard. Up there. Um, very scary bugs. If you've never seen a cicada, Google what a cicada looks like. It's gnarly. Is that it for hatchlings? Yep, these are all the hatchlings thus far. All right, now we're going to look at... No, let's start with ball pythons, and then we'll work our way up. This is the first one that he pulled out. So I know it's a pied, for sure, but it doesn't look like a normal pied. So what is this one? What did you say? This is a leopard pied. Leopard pied, and obviously not ready to produce yet. Uh, is it a male? Female. Female, so yeah, definitely not ready to produce. But if it was a male, it could produce, right, at that size? Yeah, Ish. her brother is ready to go. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, super pretty. So this would be not like high white, not low white, like kind of in the middle, right? Yeah. Pides are always one of my favorite. I really like the albino pides. I just think they look really cool. You guys hear his husky howling at the sirens? All that just because a ambulance drove by. Can't do it. His dog like bluffed me too when I walked in the door. He was like, yeah, dude, don't worry. She's gonna like run up and like no shit. The dog ran up like bruh, 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 bruh. And got to me. I didn't flinch and it was like, all right. He's not a bitch, he could stay. All right, what's next? This right here is the world's first. Albino black pastel Mojave spider. Albino black pastel Mojave spider. And she will be ready for this upcoming season. No shit. What are you gonna pair her to? I have no males yet. Oh, sad panda. What do you wanna get? Uh, Just a complete Kodom heavy multi-gene hat boy. Yeah. I like the pattern because you can still, I don't know if it's you can coming out it. on like camera too good. But well, you can shed too, so it's kind of messing up. Uh, but you can like kind of see like right there. There's a little bit of a pattern showing through. We well, can't wait until you prove that one out. That's gonna be badass. But you said you had something banana, right? Yep. So if you bred a banana to that one, what would your outcomes be? A banana to this one? Yeah. Uh, best possible outcome would be a coral glow, black magic spider head albino. See what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you just make the things up. Like, that's what ball python breeders do. Be like, oh, you pair this to this, you get the nail, hit the head on the hammer, albino, black patternless ghost, Mojave shrimp. You just throw a bunch of words out and it all somehow makes sense. Are these two males? Yep, two males. I have no idea. I don't know. This one right here is a uh, coral glow yellow belly enchi, and this one right here is a uh, banana spinner. So banana spider pinstripe? Yep. Oh, see? I'm not that bad. Nope. But so fun fact, uh, banana coral glow, same thing, just two different names, right? Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. why I keep saying the complete opposite, just to see yeah. if anybody picks up. Yeah. So he's saying coral glow, but it's the same exact thing as banana. I don't know where like the difference started. It's just a lineage. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Same thing though, but really pretty. Again, if I had a ball python, it would probably be a banana, but again, not my speed. That snake just tried to go in my mouth. That would have been uncomfortable for both of us. <laughs> okay, well, he thinks he knows everything and said, you're not going to guess what this one is. And I threw out my two guesses, and I was wrong. So you guys, go ahead, comment down below, and guess what this snake is. Um, the tip of its tail is white. That's weird. See, so that, like, makes me want to say pie. I don't know if you guys can see. The very, very tip of his tail is, uh, is definitely white. His head... 
or her, his or her? Him. Him. That's definitely not the head that I was expecting either. Super dark head. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Take a take a guess down below. We'll show you a couple more snakes, and then we'll come back and uh, and tell you what this one is. I have no idea. You, I think most of you are gonna guess what I guessed because of like that right there. Um, but you're gonna be wrong, so you can still throw the guess out if you want. Moving on to retics. Orange glow tiger. Orange glow tiger. But man, look at the pattern. So pretty. I really want to convince Kelsey to let me get a retic or a berm when we move. But with the baby, she's not like a fan of any reptile. Like I said, I've already started working on convincing her for the eyelash and the gaboon. She's pretty much said yes to the gaboon. But now I'm like asking for two and I'm getting kind of greedy. So I don't know if she's going to say yes for the eyelash. So I might just have to do it. Shh, babe, if you watch this, I'm kidding. It's, oh yeah, this is the super cool one. This is a golden child motley head purple. Like that patterning right there is so the cool. Yeah, so pretty. And then obviously with the golden child, the iridescence on it is ridiculous. <clears throat> this was actually the once retick that my wife was like, oh, this is nice. You should get a retick finally. Really? Oh, I thought he was gonna get bit again. Yeah, Just do it. Just do it. This one's super hissy. Which I kind of like. It gives her a little bit of an attitude for him. A little bit of an attitude. It's definitely a berm thing. Yeah. Do you plan on breeding the big snakes too, eventually? Yeah. Well, now that the Lacey Act is repealed too, once you move to Florida, you can just bring them with you, right? Not berms. I need a specific license, but... Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He's definitely going to get the specific license. That's what the touching his lips meant. Because he's not going to set himself up for failure. Right? No, never. All right, and then the last one... No bites in this video. I feel like no one's gotten bit in my videos in a long time. But uh, so this is garter snake. Yeah, it's a garter snake. Exactly. <laughs> Say it one more time. I just said so many things that I confused myself. Uh, she is a hypogranite. All right, hypogrant. Hi there. <laughs> Hypo. It's too hot in this room. Hypogranite Burmese python. Super pretty. What's its name? Slash giraffe. Giraffe. Dude, I was gonna say its name should be Jeffrey, because that's a giraffe thing. Again, she's going for the microphone. You guys can't see it, but she's like, hmm, does not smell like rat, but looks like rat. All right, y'all. So again, ball and chain constrictors, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all of it's linked below. Austin Salgado, another Navy veteran. Links below to all those things. Thank you for letting me come out. No We've been trying to do this for- Almost a year? Almost a year, yeah. Well, no. Yeah, yeah no, almost August. a year, yep. Um, but we finally got it done, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead, like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I post. I will see you guys in the next video. Anyways, I'm rambling. Like the video. You guys are great. Peace. Okay, one more thing. Um, he becomes a dad in like, uh, it could be like 24 hours. It could. It, it could, could like be a week. like a week. It could be like 10 days. Uh, Wife is at two centimeters dilated. I don't know if that's TMI for the vlog, but whatever. Um, so yeah, wish him good luck in having a baby because it's scary. It's the scariest thing in the world, yeah, but he's going to be a good dad. Um, yeah, so wish him good luck. And now see you guys later. Peace.